Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the Texarag. Okay, the rumors have come to be true. Or should I say the rumors have come to be passed? Anyway, Microsoft is revealing more specification about its next generation Xbox Series X hardware today. The biggest new confirmation is that the Xbox Series X will include 12 teraflops of GPU performance. This is mind blowing, as you know, which is twice was available in the Xbox One X and eight times the original Xbox One. It is an impressive jump for a game console. It certainly shows that the next gen post goes into detail on several key themes far for Series beyond X. the Xbox One Power X and, and the PlayStation 4 Pro. Xbox chief Phil Spencer claims Xbox Series X delivers a true generational leap in processing and graphics power with cutting edge techniques resulting in higher frame rates, larger, more sophisticated game worlds, and immersive experience unlike anything seen in console gaming. Microsoft recently revealed hardware accelerated DirectX ray tracing and variable ray shading VRS, which has been patented by Microsoft, which uh, Phil Spencer also said, rather than spending GPU cycles uniformly to every single pixel on the screen, Developers can prioritize individual effects on specific game characters or important environmental objects. These techniques result in more stable frame rates and higher resolution with no impact on the final image quality. The Xbox Series X will include a custom design CPU based on AMD's Zen 2 and Radeon RDNA 2 architecture. Microsoft is also using an F NVMe SSD on Xbox Series X, which means there will be faster load time and there will be no latency when you are playing games. According to Spencer, Xbox Series X will also support 8K gaming and frame rates of up to 120 frames per second in a game, which this also is going to make is going to change the gaming era. It's going to make gaming take gaming to a whole new level. Microsoft says it has partnered with the ADMI forum and TV manufacturers to enable auto low latency mode and variable fresh rate on the Series X as part of each ADMI 2.1 support. They should reduce input lag and smooth out visuals in games on TVs. Alongside the hardware specs, the next gen Xbox Series X is also set to feature a quick resume feature. Microsoft used a similar feature on the Xbox One to resume games, but is now promising to let Xbox Series X owners resume multiple games from a suspended state, which means if you are playing a game and you ended up in a stage, you can close that stage and open a different game. And if you want that, that game you closed previously, you can just open from where you ended and just start from that place and begin the game, which is also more surprising and promising. That will be a big improvement for switching between games or when you resume from standby. Microsoft is also fully supporting backward compatibility on the Xbox Series X, including original Xbox and Xbox 360 games. The Xbox maker is also branding its future Xbox Game Studios as Smart Delivery, meaning you can play the games on Xbox One or Xbox Series X consoles. Third-party publishers will also be able to brand their games in a similar way, so consumers know how they will work for the next gen of consoles. Microsoft is also promising to share more details about the new Xbox with you in the coming months as the company approaches key dates like the Game Developers Conference next month and E3 in June. We are still waiting to hear more information on pricing, exact availability, next-gen launch titles, and whether a second cheaper next-gen Xbox is coming in 2020. And as their, their rivals, PS5, also made, they are going to base their pricing on the price of the xbox but rumors came out that the ps5 is going to be priced at 450 because the resources or the materials needed